Hello, hello, and welcome to your first C++ platform game design, and in this tutorial we will be making a platforming game using C++ and the graphics library that I made built directly on OpenGL. I'm going to minimize that. It's still there, okay. Um, in this tutorial series we're going to be, as I just said, you know, using the graphics library, but while we do that we're also going to be using code blocks and paint.net and um that's and this uh bmp to raw converter because when we load textures they need to be raw files first things first you're going to want to download and install the not install but you're going to want to download the library that i made um i'm going to give you the link under the description so that when the video starts i want you to go download that first thing and then, because I already have it, I'm going to tell you where you would need to place it. I'm going to put it under the C drive. I'm going to put it in the Hawk Games, or just kidding. I'm going to put it in the C drive, and it's going to be named the Hawk Engine. And in there, there's going to be a lot of stuff, a lot of files and folders. And you don't want to have, you don't want to mess with anything. Just keep everything as it is. There's the source code for anyone who wants to read it. After that, you're going to go and you're going to open up your preferred editor. Mine is Code Blocks. You could use Visual Studio. You could use Eclipse if you think that's a good idea for some reason. And you have Code Blocks. And you should already know how to create a new project. If you don't know how to create a new project, then maybe graphics programming is a little hard for you. I don't know. We're going to make a C++ application. It's going to be a console application. We're in this C++ platformer. Yeah. Maybe they won't let me have that. So finish. Leave all of this the same. Um, you're going to get a main.cpp file immediately. You can get rid of that, and in fact, actually, can get rid of the file. So, removing file from project, that's not actually get rid of it. If you want to get rid of it, you go to the directly that the directory that is it, that it is in, and just delete the file, like so. Once you have that done, you're going to go to Project, Build Options, Linker Settings, Add. And this we're going to add the libraries that we're going to be using in order to get this to work. It's pretty straightforward. Just go onto the C drive, the Hawk Engine, and just do lib the Hawk Engine. Yes. Okay. One more thing is that this engine will only work if you're using Windows. It will not work if you're using Mac or Linux or anything else. So if you're not using Windows, then you should not be following these tutorials. So what I did there is I just went to the um, Erkling, which is going to be the audio file for now, or audio library for now, until I make my own audio library, which I'm planning on doing, but won't be done for a while. After that, all you have to do is type in GDI32, OpenGL32, and Glue32. Okay. Um, you notice that we put all that stuff in the debug. We probably should have put that in the right up here. So just click on one of them, hold shift, click on the other, or on the top one, copy selected two, and select the top one. And then see all that is in the main library. There is in the main project. That way is for debug and release, which is what we want. One more thing that we want to do is under debug, go under defines, and then we're just going to define debug. That way for debugging things, you know, then our roads don't save or something because we don't want them to save and have to delete them every time. Something like that. One more thing is under C++ platformer, yeah. 
you don't have to do this. I would do it, but you don't have to. Optimize generated code for speed, for speed, for speed, and not for size. So optimize fully for speed. There's probably not a difference. I just do that just in case. Now that you have all that done, you can finally start coding. And we're going to add a new file. We're going to name this main. Click on all. That's important. I get this stuff. You will not, probably. You need to copy this down, though. You don't need to copy this. Copy this down. All this is just for me, you know, to use or whatever, because it's good coding practice to have that in or whatever. Just copy this down. Pause the video until you have that down into your main file, main.cpp. Hopefully you pause the video. Um, if not, then I don't know what to say. But first thing we have to do is we have to make the main method. Remember when you did main and then, you know, la 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 la. Well, it turns out that we are not going to be doing that. We're going to be using uh, the win API to an extent. And when using the win API, we need to use a certain form of main. I'm going to walk you guys through this, don't worry. All you have to do is int win api win main. And then just write down h instance. h instance. Hold on, that needs to be a space. H instance h instance h priv instance op stir hold on op stir um and cmd show i believe if you want just to check on it you can Oh, okay. And no wait, just kidding. That's be LPS -er, LPS -er. and then this has to be int and cmd show. To run it, just make sure everything's correct. Oh, get rid of that comma. going to return zero but after that or before that we want to make sure that this is called correctly so we're just going to say blah make sure you spell blah wrong so that you get the desired result so we have that done now what we're going to do is we're going to build our frame This is going to be the hardest function that you're going to use. All the other functions and all the other stuff is going to be really easy to use compared to this. This stuff's the hardest part. Um, okay, one second. Anyways, building the frame. The first four parameters are the coordinates. So it's just 0, 0. We'll make ours 200 by 200. Basically saying x coordinate 1, y coordinate 1, x coordinate 2, y coordinate 2. After that, we're going to write out the name of our app, which is test for now. And then you're going to need the pointers to h instance, h priv instance, lp, you know, you get that. So we're going to make a pointer to h instance, pointer to h priv instance pointer to lpsdr, whatever that is, and ncmd show. After that, we have to have something saying whether our game is going to be full screen or not. I'm just going to do false for now. Last, we're going, or not last, but second to last, 
we need a um, if I remember we need to tell you, we need to tell the library what type of frame we're building. We're going to do um, full window for now. And last but not least, you need a pointer to a boolean. So we're going to make a boolean up here. We'll make it true. And the active means that the game is active. And the pointer is going to point to this so that if you exit out of the frame, it closes the game. So we need a pointer to active, like so. Test run, full window. Um, the reason why it says that full window was not declaring the scope and the reason why it says build frame wasn't declaring the scope is because you need to declare that you're using the namespace there, right there. Oh, um, this needs to be a GL boolean. Basically, we like that it's an open GL version of Boolean. This is the only time you're going to ever need to know that. Just remember that's GL Boolean. Now, if you did everything correctly, you should see a window like flash up onto your screen real fast and then exit out. That's good. What we're going to do is we're going to say while active blah. We're not done yet because if we just run it, you know, it's going to. Continue and continue. In fact, actually, hold on. All right. So once you have the um, loop, you can't just you can't you know just have it because then the you'll never be able to close it. So what you have to do is you have to do handle and put message message. Or uh, you have to have a message object. You could do that. And then do that. I believe. Yeah, I, I didn't think so. You have to make a message object, and all it does, all you need to do is that, and then just put that and handle input, and then like that. Um. And then just do that because it needs a pointer to a message object. And if you run it, it'll be perfectly fine. You can exit out like that. Um, we're going to just test draw to make sure that... Oh, before we do that, you want to enable OpenGL too. Because we're going to be drawing. So you want to enable OpenGL. After that... We want to do is you're going to just test draw, so you're going to draw begin, test draw, draw end, run it. If you have a triangle, and if you have all of this stuff right to your screen, that's good. That means that you set everything up correctly. And that you you know basically you have everything set up correctly. Um, one last thing I want to show you is simple input if vkb and then whatever key you want to use return um, escape space. So it's going to do escape, then do this. So active equals false. Like that, watch what happens. Which means if I press escape, boom, it's done. Pretty simple. That is how you test to make sure that the library is working correctly. It only takes one, two, three, four, five, six, six functions, and you already have a triangle drawing on the screen. Next tutorial, we'll be learning how to define our own shapes, and we will be making a cube. I know it's kind of a large step since you don't even know how to make a simple square on your own yet, but trust me, it's not that hard to learn. It's going to be very easy. I'm going to walk you through it step by step, 
and eventually we're going to be making our own game. So until then, I will see you later.